A Brock the Yahow, Brock the Yahow Shai, all praises and glory be to Yahow Bashim Yahow Shai, Baha Kodash Raka, Bahashim, yeah, uh, Bahashim Kodash Raka, and the Holy Spirit. Double honors to our apostles at Great Millstone who rule well and teach well through the spirit of, and power of Yahow Bashim Yahow Shai, and peace, love, and mercy be unto you, Akim, that has it your lives to push the truth for Yahow Bashim Yahow Shai throughout the four corners of the world. You know, and to wake up the elect, you know, the rest of the elect of the nation of Israel that hasn't been woken up yet. A peace be unto you and Shalom. It is uh, uh, your brother Shakam from uh, GMS, you know, Detroit. Back at you with a, a, a quick lesson. And uh, it's going to be concerning, concerning this lesson or something that was said in this lesson by Apostle Tahar, you know, which is entitled uh, De uh, Demons. And devil's testimony, uh, you will be tried. And uh, basically, it's the, pretty much the end of the video. And he says something that 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 stood out to me, you know, uh, because uh, you know I live in a in a, in a house. Basically, uh, when I when I moved in the house, there was a horseshoe over the door, and uh, I didn't pay any mind to it because I you know I didn't I was ignorant. You know, to the fact that, you know, things like that are used to try to ward off spirits or, or, or whatnot. And uh, it wasn't until the apostle, I had already taken it down. I took it down and wrote the name of uh, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai on all of the doorposts. But basically, it wasn't until the apostle had mentioned it in, the, in, the, in this video that I realized, like, like damn, you know. You know, and actually, a the apostle was doing this video based upon a video that was done by the elder Demashapat, and you know, it's it's, it's heavy, you know, because it, uh, it's dealing with spirits, and and there there are spirits out there, you know, there's demons that's out there, you know, they 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 inhabit it, you know, they inhabit certain areas, you know, and these they, they exist, they they get on people, they possess people, they uh. They they uh take over uh they'll take over in the house and their presence you know can be felt like me personally you know whenever you know there's a demon around I kind of get like a, a a headache you know and I feel kind of eerie like for an example there was a uh, I worked in a I guess you can say it's like retail and there was a woman that came. Into my store, and she was kind of upset and angry. And also, you can you can tell there's a demon on people by the way that they smell too. You know, this woman had like a smell, like she's been you know doing the do, you know, all all week and haven't washed up. But basically, uh, she was upset. You know, her eye was kind of twitching. You can saw it in her eyes. She's banging on the counter. She's screaming at the top of her lungs, you know, and the next thing you know, the light that was right above me went out, you know, the light, the light was perfectly fine until the woman came in, you know, which had the demons on it. But basically, uh, this, this lesson is, 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 uh, based upon, you know, something the elders say, I let it roll real fast. He, he would have to do an exorcism on that house. Don't let them devils run you out the house. You got to exercise. You got to get them. You got to evict them devils, man. Them demons. Anyway, uh, the last uh, scripture, Luke eleven twenty. But if I, with the finger of the Most High, cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of the Most High has come upon you. Come upon who? The nation of Israel. The kingdom of heaven is already here. But but the actual kingdom of heaven is going to be established when we all come together. That's that's the house of David. The kingdom of heaven starts with Yahweh. A Salakia. Uh, but there was a you can go ahead and watch a video. The video is only about 40, 40 minutes long, 40 minutes, 32 seconds. Uh, but there was a point in the video where the apostle said that uh Basically, a when brothers come together and they're doing an exorcism on a house, 
you know, get your scriptures together. The elder brothers, get your scriptures together. You know, you go through with your prayers, but make sure that you get all of the relics, you know, that are that are in the house, out of the house, because when it comes down to certain objects, you know, hey, they carry they carry demons. You know, there's there's spirits behind them. Like you got people that that'll put that'll put uh relics up, you know, like uh horseshoes or or different crosses and, and things like that, but they don't understand that that's inviting more spirits to come in because there's there's demons that are connected to it. You know, you put it there there are people that put up horseshoes so that so that uh evil spirits won't enter into the house. But what you're doing is you're opening up your house to evil spirits by putting them up, you know? And uh, a scripture that proves that there's demons behind those different idols or, or, or relics. When you go to uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 16, it says they provoked him to jealousy with strange gods. With abominations provoked they him to anger. They sacrificed to devils, not to the most high. To, to, to uh, gods whom they knew not. They knew uh, they knew gods that came uh, to new gods that came newly up whom your fathers feared not. So. Those those uh, different relics and those different idols, they they carry the, uh, the they have the, the spirit of demons that are on them or that are attached to. Them. And, and us being in the truth, us. Being Israelites, your your faith is supposed to be in your how about Shimei or Shai, the power over these spirits. Your faith is supposed to be in our in our power that's in heaven. And uh it's the Lord that that will allow his angels to encamp around you or put a hedge around you so that so that no evil thing may touch you. So that no no evil spirit will come upon you. Matter of fact, it was the belief upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that 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 uh cast that demon out of you when you heard the word or the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai spoken. You had it. Each one of us had a demon on us before we came into this truth. Some more than others. But once you believe upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that demon was exercised from you. So now. Having this, having the Holy Spirit upon you, the Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, uh, dealing with you, you know the Lord allowed His angels to encamp around you. So, uh, this is Psalms thirty-four and seven. It says the angel of Yahweh encamp around those that fear Him and deliver them. So deliver them for what? You know certain situations. You know you could be about to get in an accident. A angel of the Lord deliver you. Somebody could be trying to harm your life or about to harm your life. Hey, the angel of the Lord will deliver you. You know, there's spirits that are that are that are uh, working against us. You know, but they but they can't harm us because the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai has a hedge over us. So it's not those relics, you know, like horseshoes. And I'm making this video because if any brother was ignorant like me, you know, uh, to it, you know, which uh, b before I heard the video. Yeah, the spirit got on me to take that thing down, you know, and I still I still had it in the house. But after seeing that 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 video from um, and it's not like I had it in the house to, to worship it or like I was putting any faith or trust in it. But it was just the point that it was still in the house, you know. So once I had heard the apostle, you know, mention that in the video, I, I can't I cast that thing as far as I can throw it. You know, I, I took it outside and I kept this about about it was about five in the morning. Five, you know, it's five thirty now, but it was about five. I took that thing and I, I I I flung it outside as far as I can throw it. You know, because hey, the, there's spirits that are on things like that. You know, so if you got any relics or symbols in your house, hey, those things are holding spirits. So if you if you're having a string of of, of bad luck, you know, yeah, we're under the, the curses, you know, but you should be able to understand being seasoned, you know, wh what's caused by you going off, you know, versus 
things that just ordinary things that just happen to all of us because we're under the curses. You know, yes, yeah, certain things are going to happen because we're under the curses. But if you're just catching, you know, a bunch of hell, a a chances are you did something to go off. You know, for an example, I'll, I'll use these brothers in the book of Maccabees for an example. Uh, it's it's going to be uh, Salakia. There we go. Got the screen to rotate. Second Maccabees uh, 12, and I'll begin at verse, verse 38. It says, So Judas gathered his host and came into the city of Odalam. And when the seventh day came, they purified themselves as the custom was and kept the Sabbath in the same place. And upon the day following, as they as the as the use had been, Judas and his company came to take up the uh, the bodies of them that were slain, and to bury them with their kinsmen in their father's grave. You know, because they had just finished fighting a a, a battle against Georgia, Georgius, which uh which was a I believe a Edomite, and uh there was there was some men that were amongst them that was killed. Now keep in mind when you read the stu the story of. Judas, you know, they had help from the angels. They had help from above, from heaven. So the angels were fighting on their, on, on, their, on their behalf. Now, the fact that there were a bunch of, you know, some guys that were killed under them, that was kind of, you know, it's not that strange because they're fighting a, a war. But if you got help from the, from the Lord, hey, the Lord can have it to where you fight a battle and none of your men are lost. So there were men that were killed. And there was a reason that they were killed. And this is 2 Maccabees 12 and 42. It says, it says, uh, betook themselves uh, unto prayer and besought him that the sin committed. Uh, no, uh, oh, here we go. Salaki. It says, now under the coats of every one that was slain. Now, listen to what it says. It says, now under the coats, under everyone that was slain, they they found things consecrated unto idols of the Gemnites, which is forbidden the Jews by the law. Then every man saw that this was the cause wherefore they were slain. You know, so those are, uh, we're not supposed to deal with any idols, you know? So if you got any relics, if you got any idols in your, in your house, you know, get them far from you, man. Destroy them things and, and, and get them far from you. You know, because those idols carry carry spirits on them. You know, we don't we don't need we don't need relics or idols. You know, we we got a living power. You know, we got a living power. We got a son. You know, Yahweh Shai, which 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 walked the earth before. You know, it was it was uh was was hang on the cross for our sins. You know, so that we may believe upon him and, and, and be saved and receive salvation. You didn't you know, there wasn't a, 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 a idol of gold or silver that was put that was put on the cross. You know, it was our own flesh and blood. You know. Which 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 died for our sins and our iniquities, so we don't we don't need these relics. We got power from heaven, and if you believe on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and you're and you're one of His, and and the Lord is dealing with you, the Holy Spirit is upon you. And the Scripture tells you in uh, Luke the ninth chapter. Let me grab it real fast. That you that you have power over over these devils. Now, how do you have power over these devils through the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai? You know? Through, through Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. If Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is dealing with you and you're one of his top guys, you know? Because hey, you got some guys that'll try to cast out de devils like the apostle was bringing out in this video in Acts 19 chapter, but you had certain vagabond Jews that were trying to cast out uh, devils, which they didn't believe for real. 
they didn't believe upon the name of Yahweh Hashem Shai. They just saw Paul using that name, so they thought that they can use it. And them demons hopped on the seven brothers of Siva and, and, and kicked their asses. You know, so if you really truly believe in Yahweh Hashem you hey, he he gave you power and, and authority over devils. It's Luke nine and one. It says, then he called this this uh uh. So like, and he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils to cure diseases and sent them to preach uh, the kingdom of the Most High and to heal the sick. You know, so if you truly believe upon Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, you have faith and you're part of one of his elect, then you got power over, over those, those devils. And those devils see you and they know that you're, that you're one of his, so they won't mess with you. You know, Lord willing, I, I am, and the brothers, you know, that are in the camp that live here with me, you know, are, are part of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You know, you don't need any relics or you don't need any symbols or anything like that to uh, cast out spirits. You know, you can cast out, cast them out through, through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh if you truly believe and have faith. You know, we have power in the, in the name of Yahweh. And we have power in the name of Yahweh Shai. So that was just a little uh, testimony. You know, hey, hopefully if you are him, got any horseshoes or things like that in your house, that you, you'll do the same. You know, get them out. You know, because those things those things carry spirits, man. And if if if, if you, those spirits maintain there, and, and you hey, different things keep happening to your crib or happening to you, then you shouldn't, you shouldn't, it shouldn't be strange to you. You should know why it's happening. You know? So, uh, a, 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 get them things out of there, you know? And, uh, a, like the apostle was saying, if you got different spirits or demons in your house, hey, don't let them demons run you up out of there, man. Evict them, man. They stand bold in, in, in your belief. Yeah, how about Shimei was shy, you know? And also, you want to cleanse your ways. You want to make sure you ain't doing nothing wrong because you don't want to end up like the seven sons of Siva or you don't want to end up like those uh, those uh, Jews in the book of Maccabees that, that had the idols of the Gem Knights under their coats. You don't want to get caught slipping, man. So you want to make sure you're self-right. You know, and get them elders together, put them scriptures together, and throw up those prayers and get them demons out of there, man. Hey, because uh, the scripture says that we shall judge angels. You know, the apostle also mentioned this. Those uh, demons are also angels. You know? And uh, hey, the scripture says that we have power over them. So, hey, you know, Trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's our that's our help. That's our that's our force. That's our power. So I hope this lesson was edifying until the next time. Shalom.